we have the requests made by the owner. Or do you ask God and yet refuse or fail to receive? Because you ask with wrong purpose and evil selfish motives. Your intention is, when you get what you desire, to spend it on your own selfish, satisfying, flesh-driven pleasures. Pray, therefore, like this. O oh, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. May your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Only this prayer must be in faith. Asking with absolutely no wavering. No hesitating, no doubting. For the one who wavers, the one who hesitates, the one who doubts is like a billowing surge out of the sea that is blown here and there and tossed by the wind. My friends, have faith. In God. For not one of all the good promises the Lord your God gave you has or ever will fail. Every promise has been and will be fulfilled. Not one. Not one. not return to me void. No, it shall not return to me without producing any effect. No, it shall not return to me useless. But it shall, oh yes, it shall accomplish that which I please and purpose it to. And it shall prosper in the thing for which I sent it out. For no matter how many promises God has made, all of them, every single one of them, is yes and amen in Christ Jesus. This is the reason, in fact, it's the only reason, that the earnest prayer, the heartfelt prayer, the continued prayer, prayer of a child of God made righteous through Christ is world changing, life altering, tremendous mighty in power as an example for us Elijah you know Elijah he was a human being with an just a human being with feelings, affections and sinful tendencies just you and I. No different. And yet he prayed earnestly for it not to rain. And no 